Hello, and welcome to BitBytes, the video series that will take you on an exciting journey of mobile DevOps with BitRise. If you're new to the world of mobile CI/CD, don't worry, we've got you covered. In this BitBite, we'll be talking about how to add a new iOS app to BitRise. When you first create an account on BitRise, you will see the Getting Started page once logged in. Tap the Add New App button to get started. The first step is to select the account you wish to add the app under. If you are part of multiple workspaces, you'll see all the options in the dropdown. Next, we'll set the app's privacy to either private for the workspace members or public, which can be accessed by anyone as long as they have the link. Now, click the Next button. Here you can see I have a GitHub account already selected as my Git provider. There are other options available, such as Bitbucket, GitLab. You also have the option of adding the repo manually via URL. In my case, I will continue to use GitHub. Under the Git repo, click the Select button. Here, you'll see a list of all available repos under your account. Now, if the repo is not displayed, you can try searching it by its name or description. I'll go ahead and pick the one I want and hit Next. Next up is to set up repo access by choosing an automatic or manual SSH key. This allows BitRise to access your repo. In our case, I will pick to auto add my SSH key. If you want to choose the other options, you can find instructions on our SSH key BitBite. Now choose the default branch from your repo, such as main. Next, we'll pick between auto detecting the configuration for the repo or skipping it and configuring it manually. I'll leave the default option and click the next button. But if you want more information on doing this manually, instructions can be found in our manual configuration bit byte. Now the scanner will automatically detect that the project is an iOS app. And from here, you can start configuring your app as you need. For example, I'll select the distribution method to development. Based on the selection, you will get the recommended stack and machine type for your app. Here, you can edit it to another configuration or confirm the selection. In our case, I'll hit the confirm button. The next step is to upload the app icon or skip it. If the icon is an asset in your repo, BitRise will automatically pull it here. So I have the option to keep it or change it. Now finally, BitRise will offer to set up a webhook for your repo. This will enable automatic triggers for new builds when you push code to your repo. Click the register a webhook for me button to set up the webhook. Then click the last button to trigger your first BitRise build. Congratulations, you've successfully added your iOS app to the BitRise CI/CD platform. Now with BitRise, you can automate your build, test, and deploy process, saving you time and effort. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and tune in to future episodes of BitBytes. We'd love to hear your feedback and suggestions for future topics, so please don't hesitate to reach out and join the community conversation at discuss.bitrise.io. Thanks again for watching and happy building.